Hello everyone, my name is Ayush. Today, we will create some commonly known VLSI circuits in Simulink and learn how to generate their very low code, which will be used to work on other software. First, let us get to know what exactly is VLSI. VLSI is also called Very Large Scale Integration. It is the process in which complex circuits are created and developed using millions of transistors combined in a single silicon semiconductor chip. VLSI technology has applications everywhere in the real world, such as processors in a computer, chips in a camera, or even in the infotainment system. You might have heard about the computer language, such as Python, C, C++, etc. These languages act as a bridge between the user and the CPU of the computer. The user sends instructions in the code which the compiler reads and the instructions are, ex are executed in computer binary form. Like these programming languages, VLSI uses a particular type of language called hardware description language. Unlike object-oriented programming languages, the primary purpose of HDL is to describe a digital system like an adder, decoder, multiplexer, etc. The most famous example of HDL is Verilog, a textual format for describing electronic circuits and systems. Verilog stands for verification and logic. Now, let us learn about some standard circuits used in VLSI. Most of the circuits are built using logic gates. Logic gates take binary input and return the output as a binary number. The half adder is the most basic circuit which is used for the addition of two numbers. Half adder accepts two inputs of binary digits and returns two outputs, one for the sum and other for the caddy. It uses ZOR and AND gates for this operation. Following is the truth table for the half adder circuit. The full adder circuit used the same principle as the half adder but it is expanded and returns two output values of sum and caddy when given three inputs. Following is a truth table for a full adder circuit. You can read more about half adder and full adder circuits on our webpage. The link is provided in the description. A decoder is a unique circuit that accepts multiple inputs and outputs. If n inputs are given to the decoder, it provides a 2 to the power n number of outputs. Decoders are used to convert a digital signal into an analog signal. It primarily uses AND gates for the operation. Following is a truth table for a decoder circuit. A multiplexer is a device that has multiple inputs and a single line output. Due to this, multiplexer allows the process of transmitting different types of data such as audio and video simultaneously using a single transmission line. The truth table for a 2 cross 1 multiplexer is shown below. As you can see from the channel statistics, 94% of people view our content and are not subscribed. If you like our content, hit the red button and subscribe. It really motivates us. I have created the Simulink model for the full adder by adding the respective elements. If you are wondering how to implement the circuit in Simulink, please look at our Simulink fundamental course. The link is given in the description. After making the circuit, we go to the apps section and now we will search for the HDL coder. Now we have to select the subsystem and go to settings and click HDL generation settings. Here we have to select the subsystem for which the code must be generated and Verilog from the drop down list. Then we have to browse the folder where we want to save our output code, the final Verilog code. After all, after we have done all this, we have to click generate in order to generate the Verilog code. As you can see, we have generated the Verilog code for the full adder subsystem by creating the circuit in Simulink. The Verilog codes for other circuits can be generated similarly. However, if you face any difficulty and want to access the Simulink models or Verilog codes developed by me, visit the blog with the link in the description and purchase the blog resources along with a short report. Thank you for watching this video. Do like this video if you found it helpful. If you have any queries, post them in the comments or get in touch with us. 
follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Education is our future. MATLAB is our future. Happy MATLABing.